Heavy-duty crane ships are used to transport large objects like oil rigs and unusual cargo. They are some of the largest and tallest ships in the world. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 largest crane ships in the world. Number 15. SSCV Sleipnir Named after Odin's eight-legged horse in North mythology, the SSCV Sleipnir is a massive semi-submersible crane vessel operating under Harima Marine contractors. The vessel has two revolving cranes, each with a respective carrying capacity of 10,000 tons, so naturally when they're working in tandem, the two cranes can lift a 20,000-ton object up and onto a vessel. The Sleipnir is relatively young, having only been built in 2019, but the moment it hit the ocean, it became the largest of its kind for the time being. Sleipnir made waves again because during its maiden voyage, it completed the largest bunkering operation on record, having lifted and transferred 3,000 tons of liquefied gas off the coast of Sumatra. And then that same year, she completed a record lift of 15,300 tons when she moved the top sides of the Leviathan Energy Project. She's a young vessel, but with many more years in front of her, so who knows what other records are just waiting to be broken by the Sleipnir. Number 14. The Zenhua 30 The Zenhua 30 is yet another amazing crane ship built in Japan. Construction on the Zenhua 30 ended in 1995, and it's been sailing under the Chinese flag ever since. This vessel is owned by the Zhonghua shipping firm, and it's used almost exclusively for the lifting and installation of big platforms, both above and below the ocean surface, hauling massive pieces of cargo as she moves along. The Zenhua 30 is one of the largest ever kind, with a length of 978 feet and a width of 190 feet. She's absolutely enormous. She's also got a nice deep draft of 43 to 56 feet, meaning she's the one you call when something needs to be built in the darkest depths of the ocean. But she's got another claim to fame too. She's the largest single crane self-propelled crane vessel with a gross tonnage of 147,000 tons and relies on just one engine that's producing 25,000 horsepower. And although she's just working with one crane, this deep water submersible vessel has a lifting capacity of 12,000 tons. Sometimes size really does matter. Number 13, Seven Borealis. Okay, so I can't let the giant semi-submersibles have all the fun. Every now and then, you need to get the big guns out and bring in some heavy machinery out into the ocean. So that's where things like crane ships come in. The Seven Borealis was built by the Sembawang Shipyard in Singapore in 2012 and flies the flag of the Bahamas in the wind. Not quite the biggest ship we've seen so far. The Seven Borealis has a hull of just under 600 feet, and it's the perfect heavy vessel for laying pipe. So if you see another heavy lift vessel carrying the parts of an oil rig through the deep blue, chances are the Seven Borealis isn't too far behind. She's got a deadweight tonnage of about 47,000 tons and a cargo capacity of 5,000, so she's not screwing around either. The Seven Borealis can be typically found ferrying precious cargo around the English Channel and requires a full crew of 400 on board to keep her up and running at all times. Number 12. Rembees the next floating crane ship on this list is coming to you straight from the Netherlands. The Rambiz was built back in 1976 and sailed for a time under the Belgian flag. Built by the Belgian firm Skuldus, the Rambiz is an amazing double crane ship, which quite literally makes her as good as two vessels, because as they say, two cranes are always better than one. The Rambiz is just over 278 feet long, 144 feet wide, and has a 10-meter draft. And since she's pulling double duty, you better believe she's got a massive displacement. She has a displacement of about 15,000 tons, and it's able to traverse the oceans with her giant precious cargo and her giant four engines, each cranking out about 4,000 horsepower. But she really shines when it comes to carrying and lifting capacity of a whopping 33,000 tons and a max lifting height of 225 feet. But aside from her two cranes, what makes the Rembi so attractive is her shallow draft, deck space, and large accommodation facilities. It takes a lot to keep this crane ship up and running, so it's important to have as many hands on deck at all times and without running the risk of injury when she's carrying cargo. But her size allows her to work in parts of the world that others simply can't reach. Her ability to work in both deep and shallow waters gives her the flexibility that you just won't find anywhere else. And having those two cranes means she can lift even the most unusual of structures. So don't be surprised to see her carrying things like crawler cranes, diving, piling, grouting, and ROV equipment. 
Number 11, VB10,000. The VB10,000 is an awesome little crane ship that's got an incredibly distinct look. But for starters, it's over 278 feet long, 215 feet wide, and has a 19-foot draft, making it the largest vessel of her kind to be built in the United States. She's a heavy-lift twin gantry catamaran made of a two-truss space frame on top of two barges, giving her the appearance of the giant golden arches of McDonald's. But all jokes aside, the VB-10,000 takes her work pretty seriously, with a total displacement of 12,000 tons and is chugging along with her eight 8,000 horsepower engines, and she's got a lifting capacity of 7,500 tons and can lift things up from a depth of 360 feet beneath the surface. Her design comes from an earlier design named the Bottom Feeder, which was developed to clear debris that fell from oil drilling platforms in the Gulf of Mexico. So instead of sending divers to pick up the pieces of the wreckage, this heavy lift crane ship can facilitate the salvaging of the platform as a single piece. So I guess it takes the philosophy of working smarter, not harder, to its ultimate conclusion. The benefits of using the VB-10,000 is that it reduces the number of unnecessary high-risk diving while saving substantially on costs by reducing the number of necessary lifts, and therefore shortening the decommissioning schedule of the platform or the rig. Number 10. Svanen Also known as the Swan, the Svanen was built in 1991 in Spain and sailed her days under the Bahamas flag. The Svanen is a super-tall catamaran crane vessel used by the Dutch business Van Oort for both their bridge construction projects on land and their offshore infrastructure foundations. She's coming in at 332 feet long, 236 feet across, and has a 14-foot draft. The Svanen has a gross tonnage of about 14,000 tons, and her two engines are cranking out over 13,500 horsepower as she travels the waters with such heavy loads. But it's her crane that's the vessel's shining star reaching high up there at 226 feet tall and has a lifting capacity of 8,000 tons. The Svanen is an incredibly important vessel in her part of the world, specifically for her help in the construction of the Urasun Bridge, but she's also helping to usher in a new era of renewable energy as she helps to assemble countless offshore wind farms. Number 9. Asian Hercules III Sailing under the red and white Singapore flag is the Asian Hercules III. This crane ship was built in 2015 in China to be used for lifting and the building of massive offshore construction. This monohull fixed crane measures 347 feet long and 170 feet wide, and she's got a nice 33-foot draft. As her name would imply, the Asian Hercules is extra strong with a displacement of 26,400 tons, and her four engines are putting out a total of 23,400 horsepower. This Chinese crane ship has one crane with four winches with a lifting capacity of 5,000 tons and can reach heights of 436 feet above the ship's deck. She's one of the largest heavy lifting shear leg vessels the world's ever seen, and it's also made from some of the highest quality building materials money can buy to help her endure those rough environments when she's out at sea. It's going to take a lot to make the Asian Hercules III start to deteriorate, and she plans on doing her duty for a long time. She was built by Gunebo Industries, which has been crafting and building ships for over 250 years, and the construction of the Asian Hercules III required some of the most cutting-edge technologies and experts to get the job done. At the end of the day, she needed a 5,000-ton modular block system with spreader beams, luffing, and sheaves, and it only took two years to build her. She's also got a flexible lifting solution with interchangeable parts for different lifting configurations and lighter components than your average solutions, meaning there's an increased shear leg lifting capacity too. Number 8. Musashi Heading over to Japan for the next entry on our list, we're looking at the Musashi crane ship. Flying under the flag of her homeland, the Musashi is the Fukata Salvage and Marine Works crane vessel used for the construction of some of the biggest infrastructure projects in the land of the rising sun. She's 351 feet long and about 160 feet wide, with a 26-foot draft, and reaches high in the sky at 450 feet up. The Musashi is absolutely amazing, consisting of two cranes and having a combined lifting capacity of a whopping 3,700 tons and a hefty lifting height of 254 meters, and she can hoist those loads at a top speed of just over 4 feet per second. She's lifting high, she's lifting fast, and she's lifting heavy. 
The Musashi comes with a pretty hefty price tag too, but despite costing about $100,000 US per day, she's never running out of work to do. When it comes to crane vessels in Japan, you won't find anything more trusted and more reliable than the Musashi. But it should come as no surprise because the country is not only known for the quality of its many products, but also for the longevity built into them. Number 7. Seaway Strasnov The next crane ship on our list is absolutely awesome. The Seaway Strasnov is the state-of-the-art crane vessel fully equipped with all of the latest and greatest technology to help get the job done when she's out in the big blue. But she's not just another crane vessel. The Seaway Strasnov has a patented hull shape that not only helps her to make her stand out from the crowd, but it also makes her a cut above the rest. She's a monohull crane vessel that is highly effective in the installation of offshore infrastructure projects. She's been putting in her work since construction ended in 2011 and has been sailing under the flag of Cyprus since then. And although she's a Dutch vessel waving the Cyprus flag, the Seaway Sarasnov takes on projects quite literally all over the world. She's also been built with fuel-efficient engines to help keep her carbon footprint to a minimum as she traverses the world's ocean at a transit speed of 12 knots. The Strasnov is about 600 feet long, 154 feet wide, and has a 26 to 42 foot draft to help her reach those deeper waters, typically more than 6,500 feet under. The Seaway Strasnov is also known for her DP3 system, which enables the vessel to be employed for the installation of large and heavy subsea structures that most other vessels just can't handle. Number 6. Saipem 7000 Originally named the Miko Peri 7000, the Saipem 7000 is the third largest submersible crane vessel in the world. Built in 1987 and sailing under the Bahamas flag, this crane ship is used for the construction of oil and gas pipelines and the installation of offshore wind turbines all around the world. So how big is the third largest crane vessel in the world? Well, the Saipem 7000 is about 650 feet long, 285 feet wide, and has a draft ranging from 33 to 88 feet. She's got a total displacement of 172,000 tons and is chugging along thanks to her six 93,000 horsepower engines. But then there are her two massive cranes, which have a total lifting capacity of 14,000 tons and are located a full 138 feet above the deck. She's an absolute gem on the seas, and the Saipem 7000 acts as a multi-purpose offshore oil platform installation vessel that can install massive oil production platform decks as well as their jackets using her two aforementioned revolving cranes. But she can also support the offshore completion of the platforms by providing a hotel and workshop facilities for large construction crews too, because these guys need to stay somewhere when they're out there working in the middle of the ocean. But because of her sheer size and form, this crane ship can operate in literally the absolute worst weather conditions, making her one of the most important ships out there. Number 5. Pioneering Spirit all right, we've reached the final stretch, and things are about to get really heavy. Formerly known as the Pieter Schelte, the pioneering spirit first set sail at the beginning of 2013, and it's owned by the Switzerland-based Allseas Group. The pioneering spirit is a different type of heavy lift ship. She's a catamaran crane vessel, meaning she's outfitted with multiple special purpose cranes capable of lifting up to 5,000 tons each. She's been mostly designed for the single lift installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms, as well as the installation of incredibly heavy pipelines. And so to get all of these big jobs done, the pioneering spirit has to be absolutely huge. She's got a length of 1,200 feet and is over 400 feet wide. She's been one of the largest vessels in the world by gross tonnage, 403,000, and as of 2021 is the largest vessel of her kind. It's not bad for a ship that can carry up to 75,000 tons. Number 4. SSCV Tielf The SSCV Tielf is a well-known vessel in the circles of seafarers. She's a heavy lift crane ship built in the mid-1980s and classified as a DCV, or deep water construction vessel. The SSCV Tielf is outfitted with two enormous cranes that each can lift well over 14,000 tons alone. So just imagine how much they can lift if they work together. If you're not great at math, that's nearly 30,000 tons of stuff in the clutches of the Tielf. But she's incredibly unique for her class too, and is one of the largest vessels of her kind to operate within the offshore areas. And because she's been around for 30 years, she has a lot of great projects under her belt, like helping install the upsides of vessel hulls, mooring, moving pipes, and rig support sparrings. 
the SSC V Teolf has a breadth of 299 feet and a length of 660 feet. Her deck is so big that it even holds a landing area for a Boeing Chinook helicopter and requires 700 crew members to keep her up and running. She's definitely the prime example of being an oldie, but a goodie. Number 3. Boulder The DCV Boulder is a deep-water construction vessel operated by Harima Marine contractors, and it's been around for over three decades, having been built back in 1978 by the Mitsui Engineering and Shipbuilding Company. But both Balder and her sister ship, which we'll cover next, were the first semi-submersible crane vessels in the world, so the Balder certainly helped to set the stage for some of the greatness we've seen here already. But because she was one of the first in the world, that means that Balder sent plenty of records back in the early 1980s while operating in the North Sea. But because she's a bit of an oldie, Balder underwent a substantial conversion in the year 2001 by Verolm Botek in the Netherlands to help keep her up with the times. Now, Boulder's hull consists of two floaters with three columns each, with a transit draft of about 40 feet, which is normally ballasted down to 82 feet for her lifting operations. With her floaters submerged down in the water to make her nearly impervious to the effects of waves and swells, Boulder is just over 500 feet in length, with a wide beam of 282 feet across and has a maximum draft of about 88 feet, which is some of the deepest you'll ever see and this vessel is fully capable of laying pipe in water with depths of up to 10,000 feet. Boulder is also equipped with a Class 3 dynamic positioning system and mooring line deployment winch, which is the largest in the world with a diameter of 34 feet and a safe working load of 275 tons. Number 2. Hermod The sister ship of the Boulder, the Hermod, is again one of the world's first semi-submersible crane vessels. Holding many of the industry's lifting records alongside her sister ship, the Balder, she was officially retired at the end of 2017. When she reached the end of her road, the Hermod was loaded onto the Dockwise Vanguard, the largest ship in the world, and was sent to be scrapped. But that was a whole lot of scrap, because she was 505 feet long and 282 feet wide. When she was working hard, she was at a draft of 38 to 93 feet which meaning she was able to hit those deep waters and be just as stable. She was a little on the slower side, though, with her seven diesel generators letting her cruise at just six knots. She was big and slow, but extremely important nevertheless. The vessel was equipped with two cranes at the stern, and after some upgrades, each had a lifting capacity of 4,500 tons, and her main hoist could lift cargo 302 feet above the working deck. Plus, her auxiliary hoist could lower down to depths of 9,800 feet. And when working in tandem, our cranes were lifting 9,000 tons of cargo around a nice 128-foot radius. And you should expect no less from a ship named after the son of Odin. Number 1. Lanjing Lanjing is a self-propelled deep-water crane vessel owned by the China National Offshore Oil Corporation. A more recent addition to the world of crane ships, she was built in 2012 and is one of six large crane barges owned by the company. Lanjing is equipped with a hefty crane with a 7,500-ton lifting capacity and an additional 4,000-ton crane, plus an auxiliary 1,600-ton hook, and another long stinger, all of which help her lift and lower some of the heaviest equipment in the world, mainly for oil rigs. She's just under 712 feet long with a 164-foot beam and reaches a cruising speed of about 11 knots. She also requires a crew of 300 people to keep her up and running at full strength. She was once the largest crane vessel in the world and has been part of numerous projects around it, including installing some of the largest oil rigs in the world, building some of the largest bridges off the coast of China, and even laying subsea oil pipes. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.